that can get you super far. Telling people what you're thinking, what you're doing, when you want to fight, and complimenting them after great plays are all great. But sometimes... Down in the valley on the foggy hill rocks to the crazy little demon blowing his top fire in his eyes and smoke from his head. You gotta be Hey guys, it's been a long time since no played after. That's extra is zero deaths zero kills and you just lost another team fight because he's still farming now do you ask him nicely to come and help you maybe maybe you've asked him three times already you want to know what's more effective calling him a pussy ass bitch and telling him to get his coward ass out of the jungle before you block every fucking camp with a war now i know this seems harsh but people are motivated by two different things some people are motivated extrinsically which is to say they're motivated to do things for external rewards like money cars and praise Praise is the big one. When you tell someone they did a good job after a kill and they give you a well played after, that's extrinsic motivation. They want to do good because you're the leader and you're saying, hey, you did a great job. That makes them feel good. Other people have intrinsic motivation. Motivation inspired by what they want to feel about themselves. This is super difficult to manipulate over voice communication, but there is one way, and that is cognitive dissonance. The state of having inconsistent beliefs or attitude based on behavioral decisions uh, in short layman's terms, if you call a dude a pussy bitch in his head, he goes, I ain't a pussy bitch, fuck this kid, and does stuff to prove you wrong and himself right. You see, the only trick was, tuss, tuss. you knew he wasn't a Whoa. pussy bitch, you just wanted him to fucking fight, and now he's doing it because he thinks he's right. You can ask an animage who keeps getting picked off alone and out of position a million times, please animage stay with the group and you won't keep getting picked. Or you can say, this animage is a fucking dumbass, he gets picked off alone all the time. Now don't get me wrong, you want to start positive. Positive's your go-to. But if they don't listen to you, you gotta switch up your style. Don't forget, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Your goal is not to be a dick. You never want to be a flamer. The goal is to make your teammate do something that you want them to do. For example, you could say, any mage's feeder. This gives zero information, it doesn't make them want to change, and in fact, he probably just thinks that you're a fucking asshole. But if you say, this Animage keeps feeding because he's too stupid to see no one on the minimap and he keeps getting ganked, suddenly the Animage player can say, wait a second, I'm not too stupid to notice that. Fuck this annoying asshole, I'm gonna show him. The result of your negative communication is completely different. The first AM, AFK is still the game's over and the other goes out to prove you wrong. And in the end, that's all you wanted. You wanted to be proved wrong. He doesn't care about your praise or hate. He cares that you see him intrinsically as something he believes he is not and thus, we will try to fix it. Cognitive dissonance. Now the trick, however, is to always go back to positive communication in the end. You start positive. If that doesn't work, you go negative. But remember, you gotta be positive again. When the Animage keeps farming and not dying and he gets a good item, say, holy shit, a basher, AM's doing it, man. You can't be a bad guy forever. Sometimes you will be, but it's better to have your team look at you as a leader rather than a bully. Use the tool of negativity sparingly, but don't forget, it can be the only way to motivate some people on your team. You could also use it to motivate people on the other team. Remember the old husk, that shadow of a man with his finger on the I give up button ready to feed couriers at any moment? When he's on your team, he is the worst. But when he's on the enemy team, that guy's your best friend. As soon as you read all chat messages of the other guy complaining about his teammates, you latch onto that shit. Compliment the husk on his other team. Tell him that he's right, his build is perfect, he's the best player on his team. Convince him that him and you and your entire team feel sorry that he was put on this shit situation with these horrible teammates. You want him to get mad. You want him to give up. You're his only friend, and he's gonna lose to please you. Every time he dies, say shit like, where was your support? The faster he gives up, the faster you win. And be sure to report him at the end of the game for text abuse, because he's a piece of shit. Also, type in all chat that you reported him. One less husk, and he got played. Negative reinforcement can also be used against husks and trench commanders on your team as well. If you have ever tried to stop a person from going nuclear, and that means feeding couriers, selling all the items, AFK, I mean this kid's out, you can use negative communication to win after they quit. Do you know what unifies humans more than anything? It's a common enemy. Tell your teammates that you can win despite this dumbass who gave up on you. Make fun of them with your teammates. Keep them the butt of your jokes. That team fight was worse than our Jungle Legion's farm. Rally your team to fight with you, not to beat five enemies, but to beat the one asshole on your team that has been tormenting them all game. It sounds weird, but if you can convince your teammates that winning is the ultimate revenge against your feeder flamer, you can win. And I do it all the time. 
Sometimes you can even bring them back from the darkness with enough harassment. Pissing off your feeder and making your teammates laugh at it instead of feeling defeated and depressed is one of the best ways you can get out of that situation. Two things are gonna happen. That feeder's gonna get so sad he abandons, which gives you more money and gives you a chance to win, or you piss him off enough that he gets back into the game. In any case, your teammate goes nuclear, negative communication is a go-to strategy. Use it wisely. So that just about covers it. Communication is a powerful tool, and in the hands of a capable leader, it can lead to easy success. Even if you're not a good player, the fact that you can take stress off your team, coordinate attacks, and give direct orders makes any game instantly easier. Become the pub commander. Use your mic, support your teammates both in-game and over voice comp. Find the guys you can communicate with and do it often. Find the guys that are bad I'm trying to really. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What should I get then? I like never been in this situation before. So how are you guys doing today? Nah, I'm gonna sit with that. What? Envy, is it you my friend? Envy can I give you Why a hug? Why are you playing Volker, man? Why are you spamming it? Are you training it or what? Why you need to play in Volker, man? These days. I'm going to block creeps, I see. Boys, I... In Volga, you hear me, my friend? Okay, okay, it's for some strikes, okay? I'll try to call you on this game. Be ready to some strike. I will just use my W and go away for a second, okay? Guys, uh, Ursa is the woods. Okay, woods, I'm going to angle Ogre, you need to play Zvart. Oh, no, no, it's people. I'll people fuck him, guys. Hard. Oh, it's... Yeah, yeah, it's people. people. Bottom. What? It aggroed. I'm coming. Yeah.
I want to leave you as much XP as I can. So. Okay, I'm going top for now, okay? Right, you guys, but... you need to camp him. I mean, sit with me for his farming with ward or gank. Easy with some strike. Oh, you need to come bot over to lane with me and rape also on lane. Sure thing. Give me a second. Mipo is junking, guys. I'm going for bottom run. La. I'm running too. Nice. Guys. Nice. Yeah, I'm coming. Uh, can I get sun strike? Okay. Wait. I'm waiting for wave. This people is jungle. Wait. Go. Stand up to me, see, go. Come it. I'm guys to be mid. No, I don't think no mana. Kunka missing guys. Yeah, Kunka is mid. Do we have some strike? Okay, so you want to pull concentrate? Oh, fuck. He survived somehow. <laughs> I'm using the good. Guys, Vipo is level 4, what the fuck? Why are you not sitting in woods? I'm quite big. Wait, wait, wait a second, the good. Yes, I'm taking to top. Play smart. Could you? Just pull, okay, just pull. Yeah, I'm I'll push the lane so you can last. pull on top. Kunka missing. I'm going jungle now. Wait. I will get one ward for the career. Who sucks, guys? We need to play for kid to get sucked here. Yeah, I will do that. Put your uh, gummy, gummy. Uh, guys. He doesn't have Try mana me. for something and he won't have at all. There is, like, I'm running. Okay, 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 I'm running. Pull, 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 pull. Yo, you want to kill tower? I got the king. What?
Clockwork is going for top front, maybe he will go mid if he got like his remiss. Clockwork, Clockwork. Ah, I got no money. Yeah, I guess you died. You have to watch Russian, right? Minute. No, we can try to kill him. Ah, he is his water. No? No? Yeah, can you no, stack no, 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 really? Can you stack this? Yeah, I will try. I will stack. Under five cents to trip. Okay, I go back. I'm stacking right now. Don't, don't mess my stack. Oh, no, 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 I want it. I want it. Let's. Let's. Bye-bye.